Hello and welcome to episode two of Generation Isolation. Today I'm here with Hedith Owen. I am I am pronouncing that correctly, yeah? Yeah, Hedith Owen, yeah. That's wonderful, wonderful. Extreme. So how did you get your start in this sort of filming? Um, it was, Well, I started off uh, probably about nine around there because there's a lot of like home filmmaking in my family. My granddad, um, they've been making home videos and my mum's been making home videos. I, I got my start too and just like, acting because there was cameras there that is crazy so you didn't even sort of have any sort of filmic the filmic education you had was sort of just growing up really that's well, crazy yeah. that's crazy so as well as filmic you also act and you have a band is there anything that you can't do oh a lot of things <laughs> serious, serious, yeah. <laughs> serious, seriously though is there like any other areas of the art that you haven't explored yet that you'd like to explore there are a lot of things i would l- i would love to explore because there's this whole thing about like you can do 10 things to the first degree or one thing to the 10th degree and like your area of expertise i throughout my whole life i've just been going against that because <laughs> I just love variation. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So with your with one of your main films, I can't remember, was it something into the subconscious? What was it called? Uh, a Conversation with the Subconscious. Conversation with the Subconscious, which I watched and I found very interesting. It was also quite sort of surreal. Is those type? Do you want to continue making those surreal type of films in the future? Is there anything else you'd like to make? I, I think I, I find great beauty in surrealism. Anytime I try to do something and it doesn't feel quite right, I say, uh, like, ah, oh, I'll just put something weird in there and instantly yeah. it just feels right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I just like, I, I find great beauty in things that, like, are not meant to be there being there. I find deep, is it something deeply human about the contrast that surrealism brings about? I just, I, I just like weird things, basically. That was crazy. Cause I, I only got into sort of surreal film recently, and it was so weird seeing it and then being like, I swear, I had to does something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird because I was watching through it and I was like, oh my God. But yeah, it's it's insane. It's totally different. And you you definitely sort of got your own voice with surrealism where, you know, a lot of drama, you can you can often repeat stuff. But it's very hard to repeat surrealist stuff because it all comes from your crazy, mass of a mind. Mm. So are you planning to keep a lot of your work Welsh language because the film was Welsh language orientated? Or would you like to do more of sort of hinterland style sort of bilingual piece? I think there's a lot more... O- openness to like different language stuff obviously Parasite winning the Oscar last oh that was year. amazing it was this year it was, oh my gosh that, that was crazy was... I saw it and I was like no way you're kidding, you're kidding me uh, like, yeah. like it definitely deserved it but it was just like I did not expect it at all and so, so I, I think there's like this is the best time to be making films not in the English language so yeah I, I, I plan um, more features in the Welsh language and it's just it's also some people say because you can get your work out there more if it's in English and, yeah. and I do agree because it's like a lot easier to share but it yeah. can be a very interesting personal thing for your for your art <laughs> I, I, I'm like an awful hipster type person so <laughs> The fact I can make films with subtitles is amazing. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I, when I saw it, I didn't feel like it took away from it at all. And there wasn't any point where I was like, God, I need this to be in English. So sort of this, yeah, you know, there, there were subtitles there and I wasn't, I wasn't, it was the same with Parasite when I watched Parasite. I wasn't like, oh my God, I need an English dub of this. It didn't take away from it like at all. It's so weird how some people find that quite scary. They're like, oh, I was put off by it being a different language. It, yeah. you know, it doesn't take away from it at all. So, so, so you are a creative apprentice for Fan Wen. Am I pronouncing that right? Fran Wen? Yeah. Um, yeah, they're a theatre company based up here in North Wales. I haven't seen you since then. So first off, congratulations on that. Oh, thanks. So, you know, how do you get on to that course? You know, do you think it's hard for people to find opportunities like this? Or are, are these opportunities available to people if they scout them out? Or did you just sort of stumble upon this uh, opportunity? Um, it was, so, so I was leaving year 11 and I was like, I, I knew with the possibilities of apprenticeship. I sent a letter to like four companies I'd either worked with or been in projects with or, or just like have some connection to in the past. There was like two theatre companies and two TV companies. Oh, cool. And then um, just asked if there was any possibility if they had any apprenticeships going. And th- thankfully, um, Ran Wen um, had, uh, well, had wanted to have an apprentice on. So uh, I, I'm really lucky with that because... A, being able to work in a space where people are being creative every day. Sort of what sort of projects do you do with that company? 
Well, it's really just um, helping out with whatever they go, well, whatever they have going on. So that can be like main stage theatre productions going out uh, to like venues across Wales, like small scale one on one sessions, like developing um, young people or young artists. And it can also be, well, the, the thing you're talking about is like we have every summer, it's uh, what is it, like a, a, a theatre project, we'll say. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's because because that's how I got into well I, that's how I got to know about the company was doing their summer project in 2018 and in that project like I started stuff with music my friend which started that because I feel in so many projects you hear them saying oh there is no wrong you know that's like a lot of people say that but it was the first place I felt that was true and you could just embrace like you know, no limitations that sounds awesome I remember doing my sort of own community sort of based project here and that's is what got me into you know into film and all that those areas that is just those little small community projects which you can find if you look about for young people and stuff i, I think community-based stuff is really interesting and in building because like so much of the, of the things i've done have come from because we met through into film and obviously that's yeah. sort of although that's like a larger scale community is still a community of young people and people who like films. And I think there's so much to be said about um, helping young people create things as a group. Working with others is really great. Yeah, that's, that's you know, that's always, you're always going to need to use that no matter what sort of job you're into. Mm, 100%. Especially in film. Well, yeah, the only sort of film experience I had was literally like I was the only like you know I was the cameraman I was the editor I was also directing and stuff but even with actors that is a team sport and you've got to have like rapport with them to make sure that you pull off that project successfully as well oh it's, yeah it's just all about connection and if because especially with actors you know as, as a director you have to be able to communicate with your actors well because like the acting I think in a film is as much part of the director's role as it is the actor you know what the project wants so you have to put over to them 100% 100% I just remember I remember like not really thinking that at the start and then people coming into the audition and asked me questions I was like oh I wasn't prepared for this <laughs> sort of as soon as they were I was like oh yeah they're like you know the characters like this 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 how they fit into the story and stuff but yeah it's so much have you done the auditioning process then because I I have I they I generally think it's my favorite part because you get so many you get so many people in you're like you're like it's like it's you know especially if you've written it it's like watching your sort of words come to life and then just to see them take it in a direction which I didn't write it in is kind that, of you know an, annoying at some points but other times really cool to see you're like oh my god I never thought of it that way in the end there's no like right way it's like your way and the education almost is just finding that way in like the just the forest of other <laughs> the forest of like the possibles yeah yeah I feel like yeah the, but, edu- the education sort of is like here's the grand rules now go do what you need to do for it to be whatever you want to make you know and that just about brings us to an end thank you very much for coming on the show thank you for having me <laughs> uh, and uh Hedith, where can we find you if we need to if people are interested in your projects well you can find track 42 without a k t-r-a-c 42 um that's where all of my filmmaking work Hedith um underscore johan on instagram <laughs>